We've all heard of preemptive strikes, but what about preemptive prosecutions? Muslims in the U.S. are outraged by what appears to be America's latest tactic in its war on terror, entrapping people it suspects might plan terrorist acts in the future. Marina Portnoy explains how almost 95 percent of convictions for this crime are the result of FBI provocations. In a post-9-11 America, hundreds of Muslims have been arrested, prosecuted and imprisoned for attempting to carry out terrorist attacks. However, this study just released finds that the U.S. government has played a major role in orchestrating most of those so-called terror plots in order to exaggerate the domestic threat of Muslim extremism. When examining the Department of Justice's list of 399 terrorism cases, the study found that 94 percent of those cases involved preemptive prosecution. That's a practice of targeting those who officials deem predisposed to committing crimes before an actual crime is committed. In some instances, the study finds that defendants were targeted purely for their religious affiliations and ideological beliefs. In other instances, the FBI used an agent provocateur to recruit vulnerable individuals, luring them with cash and coercing them into carrying out a terrorist attack that was set up by the FBI. Now, a federal informant would provide the fake explosives and instruct the defendant on what to do. This is otherwise known as entrapment. Now, the 175-page report was released by Project Salam, a group providing support and legal advocacy for Muslims. One of the co-authors told told me his findings make it difficult to believe in the integrity of the U.S. justice system and federal agencies. What they were trying to do was to convince the American public that there is this large army of, of potential terrorists that they should all be very, very scared about. They are very much engaged in worldwide surveillance, and this surveillance is very valuable to them. They can learn an awful lot about all sorts of things and, in a sense, control it's uh, control issues and to their advantage. And the entire legal justification for that depends on there being a war on terror. Without a war on terror, they have no right to do this. So they have to keep this war on terror going. They have to keep finding people and arresting them and locking them up and scaring everybody. Because without that, they, they cannot justify the kind of surveillance they're doing. U.S. surveillance, as the public has learned, is not just limited to Muslim citizens. Critics say unless there is public outcry over government-manufactured crime, that too may eventually become common practice to target anyone. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.